Yo, what's going on, my hashtag Burritos Nation, burrito lovers of the WWE Super Card World. This is number 239, it's your boy Rainbow Warrior here, and we're going to do some nice little team road to the Pick Doubler Thief. Yes, that's who it is, Apollo Crews, the one that stole our Pick Doublers, but at least Tad Daddy went ahead and... uh Give us some stuff. And if you guys haven't gotten your stuff yet, um, go and check out the Facebook thing because it said that they've sent it out. And for additional players, they're sending 100 picks just in case they got stuff taken away too. So yeah, but anyways, guys, we are on the Ultra Rare Cryback. I'll do the nice little team points breakdown right here. Um, we got Ramon 3 Mar, who is our owner with 230 points. Tilling it, Rob Smith, always tilling it, 170. Robbie, 1783, 150. Stinger, 69, 145. Shawise, 110. I'm Savage, 85. Chris, 85. Myself, Rainbow or 17. With 80 points, GTA 675 and Furios, this is probably at work or something, something, something like that. But anyways, guys, um, I'll show you where we're at in our King of the Ring right now. Um, and where are you guys on your team, the Glory Grind? Tell me where your team's at. We're on good old Ultra Rare Cryback. Guess who's back is Cryback. Going against the, we just beat the gun show, so it looks like we're going to the containers bracket. Let's make sure that we've energized. That's a good thing to energize the first time in the brackets. And I'm so tired as butt, man. I'm so dehydrated. I forgot to bring any water or liquid to work. And just like I've gulped down since I've been at work like um, five cups of water. So yeah. Right, so anyways here, let's um, go ahead and see. We're going up against a bot in the in the first round, so the quarter bombs. I couldn't think for a second there. Clown town, time to get clowny, clowny. But yeah, so let's still do a couple of matches here. I'm a little tired, so it won't be that long of an episode, but let's do it against Team Brum. Oh, we've hit the beautiful card. Let me go and pause the video right fa real fast. All right, so we're back, guys. It's your boy back at it again with uh, forgetting the card limit, of course. Every single time we got to start the video, 95% of the time, we have to be at the card limit as we're about to play because <laughs> I never check. But yeah, but anyways, let's go and get into this Ultra Cryback and try to finish it off at some point or another because we're going for that WrestleMania Apollo Crews, the pick doubler thief. All right, so we go. Let's why not use that thing, my Bob? And we got a WrestleMania pool, guys. I'll go and show you guys it in one second here after we finish this game. I almost forgot about it, which has been uh, pretty dumb. But the reason why I'm not that excited about it because it was a support card, and I'm pretty upset about getting a stupid support card for waiting all this time. I mean, I, I guess it makes up a little bit for getting a bunch of great divas and getting a Nikki Bella. That's my last pull, so that's pretty sick. But we got a support card. Let's go and throw in this Shinsuke Nakamura, which is a speed matchups. It might be my speedy Shinsuke Nakamura, so, um, and speed's the only one I need. I finished up my Frodo Proto. I'm actually putting in a Survivor Rock, too, because uh, that's a pro as well. And it will actually make my deck because it's a pro rock. And that's one of the four best survivor cards in the game. So yeah. Uh, so there's a Cesaro. As you can see we got a lot of people training up cards. Which is always good to do in Team Road to Glory. So if you think, if you ever think to yourself. Oh no. I don't want to be a dirtbag to the team. Paying my low cards and just to train them up. Well if you get to the point where you're before you can start losing. Then it doesn't make a difference. So it's totally fine to put in your cards to train up. Right, but there we go. Good old rare strawberry shame. Boosting up on this thing man. Getting beat up. It's a pretty cool, they got like a season one road to glory thing right there or something. So it's pretty sick. All right. If you close your eyes with Sheen, stay Nakamura. Christian will give you the kill switch. King Sasha needs strike. All right. So we go a little stone throwing these two now right here. So that is awesome. Like possum. So yeah, guys, where are your team at? Where are you guys at in your team? Road to the pick doubler thief. Grind, baby, because it's pretty sick. Uh, what's kind of cool, though, um, the the leftover ones that I had for um, Ring Domination, my pick, my pick doublers turned into towel matches over here, so that's pretty cool, because I had eight leftover. I was like, gosh darn it, I wasted those. But at least I got to use those for these. And we still got a couple left, because we pulled a couple, I think, too. All right, so we go, so let's do the Sensation of Sherry and King Booker. Booker T, baby. All right, so I'll show you guys what was my WrestleMania pool. Make your guesses in the comments below if you want, or just don't if you don't want to. But WrestleMania support card, and it is a good old taunt. It taunted me. The taunt taunted me, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I was so mad about that. So um, if I have to get any other stupid ones, I want either a trash can or a kendo stick. I heard is the power and speed card. See so, yeah. Because that would be compatible basically to these guys. But hopefully I can get some Superstar Pro soon. Or maybe, if, maybe, 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 baby, another good old um, uh, a Diva Pro. Women's Wrestling Pro. Anyways, let's go and do one last game to end off the episode right here. Let's go and go up against good old... Let's see, a 10 more, please. Showtime! Just do it! 
Just do it like Shia La LaBeouf says. Just do it. All right. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and beat up on these guys. The Heenan family. Bobby the Brain Heenan. The brain is going insane, baby. All right, so there's a rock right there. It's probably my rock, most likely. And then someone else's survivor. KO Kevin Owens. Did you guys see Payback last night? I thought it was, it was... I would give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. It wasn't the greatest. And of course, of course, same old garbage with Roman Reigns keeping the title once again. I mean, uh, I was a little disappointed to see Finn didn't come out or anything like that. And then the stupid Usos, they came out and beat up on... Like, got back on the... Um, Thing in the the Bullet Club, but yeah, I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see Finn, but you know, whatever. And then, oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. I called so many things, like, I was like, watch, just you watch. He's gonna jump off the top rope to try to go for the um, phenomenal forearm, and then he's gonna get Superman punched. He goes to the top rope for the phenomenal forearm, he gets Superman punched. I'm like, gosh darn it, dude. But I was really, really excited about when Dolph won the pre show. He shouldn't be in the pre show, he's one of the best performers in WWE, and you cannot. You cannot even say anything about that. Uh, I mean, he is one of the best performers in WWE. He's not, he might not be the best, you, whatever your opinions are, but he is, you have to admit, one of the top performers in the WWE. He's a great seller and a great wrestler. But um, also, guys, very big thing happening. Man, I was so man, I was so excited to see them finally get a pay-per-view match. Enzo Mori and Big Cass. Poor Enzo, man. The poor guy, man. That looked bad. I was, I'm very happy that it was just a concussion. So hopefully he'll be, because I heard like the protocol is like 30 days. He'll be better. He'll be out or something like that. By the way, guys, if I'm having trouble talking, it's because I'm really, really tired. I'm kind of dehydrated. I need some water. So yeah, <laughs> I'll get some more water after this. But yeah, um, hopefully he's able to come back soon and better than ever and then get back on the grind for that those WWE Tag Team Championships. So I'm wondering if tonight they're just going to announce that the VOD villains are automatically champions and then, or automatically number one contenders. That's what I'm going to assume. I'm, I actually thought that they would... They were going to win anyways, because I thought that they were planning on the Dudleys coming on and messing over um, Big Cass and Enzo. But I don't know. Anyways, it was awesome seeing them come down to the ramp and everything. So hopefully when he comes back, uh, they can have something good going. And hopefully poor Big Cass isn't just like put on the sidelines. Hopefully they let him actually wrestle for a while. That'd be nice indeed. All right, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and get some matches here. So yeah, guys, so write in the comments below. Where is your team at in your road? To glory, road to the picked over thief grind, baby. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys, let's see if we can fix this thing, my Bob, because my phone just froze right here. There we go. So let's get and waiting on the network for some array, yeah. All right, and there we get a nice little. See so where are you guys on your team, road to glory? You thought grind, all right? There we go. For some reason, that bottom pick, my phone froze. But anyways, love you guys so much. And I'll see all of y'all. Hashtag Bruce Nation. Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah. Bye-bye. I'm going to go get some water now.